Please note this video was filmed during the COVID-19 pandemic. For the latest maternity service advice and information about COVID-19, please visit our dedicated site at www.mtw.nhs.uk forward slash COVID-19 maternity information. As I'm sure you've already noticed, pregnancy is a really incredible thing. Your body has created and grown this human being for all these months. Birth is just as amazing and the body goes through so many different phases during the course of your labour in order to bring your baby out into the world. Granier is going to talk to you a little bit about exactly what's going on inside your body. Once you are in active labour, so once your cervix is thin and open to about four centimetres, your cervix continues to open about a centimetre every one to two hours for your first baby until the cervix is nearly all gone and you're at the transition stage between the opening phase of labour and the giving birth phase of labour. When your cervix has um, reached the transition stage, this is the stage where the cervix is nearly finished opening, um, the baby's come down a little bit further in your pelvis and you, you feel a lot of pressure in your back passage, similarly to when you want to have a poo. Um, it's important for you to just breathe with these sensations and that way your body can just nudge your baby down into the pelvis. Um, so you're breathing through each and every one of these sensations um, and that last little bit of cervix nudges away until all the cervix is gone and the baby's deeper in the pelvis. It's also important at this stage to remember about the significance of your bony pelvis. It's not going to get any bigger and so you've got to make the most of the space that you've got. At the base of your spine you've got your coccyx and some people know about it as the tailbone. Your coccyx or your tailbone create a curve in your pelvis and when you're giving birth this can be significant also. If you're upright and you give birth you're working with gravity and you're working with the curve of your pelvis. If you're on all fours when you give birth, again, you're working with gravity and you're working with the curve of the pelvis. If you're sitting down, you're sitting on your tailbone and that can encroach into the pelvic space. It also means that you're working against gravity and you're giving birth uphill. So your mid midwife will assist you to get into a position that you can adopt to help the baby's progress during this stage. The birthing process is a two steps forward, one step back process. Two steps forward, one step back. Each and every time you have a contraction or a surge, your body's contractions will nudge the baby down. And then at the end of the contraction, the baby goes back. And it's two steps forward, one step back. Two steps forward, one step back. Nudging all the way with each and every one of the contractions or the surges until the widest points of the head are coming through and this can be quite a stingy burny sensation and the midwife may well say to you breathe or pant or blow. She basically just wants to ease that last little bit of the baby's head out so you just blow and the baby's head is out and you breathe and relax and you're waiting for the next contraction. The baby rotates and then with the next contraction or surge, you will get an urge again. And you go with that urge and the rest of the baby will come out. And then the baby's born. If there's anything in this video that you would like to discuss, then please contact your midwife.